that's it. You know, I've never thought about life without golf since I picked up that first golf club. Man, I'm gonna play cards with this man. <laughs> he keeps flashing the cards. When the bug oh, didn't yeah. move. I, I like to play cards. That year I got those clubs really cheap. And then I saw where the opportunities in the industry. Glad to have the senior PGA Tour back at for Stancy. After a year's hiatus, we're so glad to be back. You know, when I started, I've been fortunate enough to sit down and have dinner with Charlie Sifford and his wife Rose at, at their house in Houston. Everyone knows Charlie Sifford as the, not the first African American, but the one that obviously kind of blazed the trail for the most part. He had won before at like LA, and he could play there, and he could play in Detroit and Chicago. The winner of the Hartford, Puerto Rico, and Long Beach Opens, Charlie Sifford of Los Angeles, California. He was not allowed to play in certain places. He couldn't come south. He couldn't play Texas, and he couldn't play, you know, Tennessee. And during his prime time, age-wise, he was very restricted in where he could play. And he had to deal with some very, very ugly things back in the early days. There were still a lot of pain in kind of some of those memories. If I put myself in a similar situation, you know, the old adage, "Never judge a man; you walk a mile in his shoes." In similar shoes, I'd be very bitter, extremely angry, probably would have hurt a few people. <laughs> Charlie's, uh, I think, extremely positive and upbeat, considering the circumstances, I couldn't be. Tiger Woods and BJ and Bill Mickerson, y'all don't have to worry because I'm not in the field this week. <laughs> Boy, he could play. Yeah, Charlie could play. He decided, I want to play, and you're not going to stop me. Lofts it up right at the flag. This should be very good. It's going to be right at the hole. Could be very close. Beautiful shot. Almost a stiff one there by Charlie Sifford. You know, I can play golf, too. You know, I can compete with you guys. He wrote a book. It's called uh, Just Let Me Play. I have it. I call him Uncle Charlie because he was kind of like that to me. They did a wonderful recognition of him out at the LA Open, where he won a tournament, and he was so proud of it. Won this event again in 1969, this year's honoree. That's quite a designation and distinction to come back to this tournament. He got to go to the White House under uh, the Clinton administration. He said, I'm sending you this picture of me and my visit to the White House. Now please put it in a frame. I guess I got into the administration side of sports in 1988. I got a call from someone who was a friend at the time. He was the director of public relations with the Indianapolis Colts. I did that for two years. I was his assistant. That ended after the 1989 season and Dave Kaplan, who was my mentor. He was a tournament director at the Bell South Classic in New Orleans. So I sent him a letter saying, Hey, my name is Keith Newton. I'm looking either get a job or work from me just to learn the business. After Dave received the letter, he called me and he said, we would love to have you. I would teach you, be able to show you everything that I know, but I just can't pay you. Dave came to me after the tournament and he said, I know we had an agreement that you were not gonna get paid, but you have worked harder than some of the people we have on staff so I'm going to pay you. I guess you could say divining, defining moments early for me that he believed in me and he saw something in me that they might be able to work in the industry. I'll, I'll always have the memories of him giving me my start. It was solely responsible for me being here for the most part. But I have never actually sat down to think where I might be without the game of golf. You know, it's, it's a good thing I didn't have to. It's just been there, it's been present for so long at this point. This is my 30th year with the tour. It's been a nice, long, wonderful ride to this point. You know, I, I still wanna play until I'm physically unable to. Hopefully that's a long time from now, but uh, you know, fortunately my wife, Barbara, plays. So we can go on uh, golfing vacations together or, or wherever we go, you know, it's just things like that. I mean, we, it's part of our lives. 
you know, it's, it certainly has been a blessing. I mean, there's no other way to put it. No other way to put it.